Well, normally, here I am in um, HP Park, and Park Lane. Did you hear that just now? I think I can hear a woodpecker. Hear it now? Hear it? I'm sure it was a woodpecker. It was a woodpecker. This is a nice spot. It's, it's the old main road. We're going to wake in here, and that's the second time I heard. Listen. You see 36 over there, actually, not far off the main road. Dog walker and go in for you already because you're so tall for the women. Well, I've got outside have a little look around. You can see a little bit better, can't you? I don't want to go to the bank till I get muddy. What are you that bird? Can't hear that. That woodpecker now, can you? Beautiful out. You hear him? Do you hear him then? i to work out where he's to. He's up there. I reckon he's up towards the end of... I can't walk, I've got the kettle on. He's up in them trees there, I reckon. A horse over in the field, can see him? Here he goes again. Anyway, land didn't get too dirty yesterday. So that's a bit of a bonus. No. Oh, I'm a bit of apple for me, bro. Oh, fuck me. Thank God you twat me on that. Put the kettle on. Oh. Makes you wonder that. I'm losing that. I don't know, let me turn this off. It's not just about you being like one type of trauma. Yeah, losing the fucking plot. Now, I keep doing that. Light the kettle and don't put the kettle on. I think it's because back at the nest, I'm used to electric kettle, and I? But I've had the van 10 years. What the fucking get the idea of it by now? Yeah. When you think about it, I've been fucking on. I've had a van since. My first van was in 19, 1968, my first van, and that was in 1954, Bedford, FC, something like that, the one with the sliding door and the little bonnet. I had a picture of one on here, I don't know if I'll put it on there, it's not the one I had, because mine was green. But it's very much, well, I'm very much fucking the same, it's the same. Uh, God. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what, you I can remember being in that bloody van. You bloody, uh, with some bird from Weymouth. And we were going out at hammering tongs. And the fucking condensation was dripping on me back off the fucking roof. <laughs> God, dear, 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 dear. God, those were the days, weren't they? She used to have a fucking laugh. Yeah. yeah. 1968. Fuck me, 1900 and frozen to death. I don't know. Well, peeps. It's, uh, you had a little bit of video before, aren't you? But it's all a bit of a fucking muddle today. It's 8.25. Started late and started to rain. I don't know what's happened in the day. I don't know if, um... I'm going back that way. I, didn't, I spoke to my mate yesterday and she was down here. Well, I dropped her off here. So whether she's going to come down this morning and want to lift in the town or not, I don't know. 
but there's nothing to do really, it's raining. Um, Kevin's coming tomorrow to do the wheel bearing on the ambulance. So I need to get that moved so we can get at it. So I may be back at the nest, but if I am tonight, I should sleep in the van. Because I don't like being fucking disturbed in the morning, bloody four o'clock, getting up, going to work. But i got to keep right at it, haven't I? Because somebody got by the fucking diesel. Well, I had my mate Cliff ring up yesterday and asked me um, how I was. And um, said I haven't been on for a couple of days. And still got that black dog about me. Still don't feel fucking good. But I suppose I feel better when the sun comes out. Um, I got a fucking... A spot on my lip. I thought I'd bit it, but I reckon it's a spot. Trouble is, fucking hair on my moustache, I can't fucking see through there, can I? Is that a little... Yeah, it's in here. It's like fucking huge. It's not in that big. That's just shiny. Yeah. Anyway, just heard the sad news that Paul O'Grady died. That's a fucking funny bloke. And the things he used to do for animals were good. Yeah, 67. Fuck me if I died at 67. I'd been fucking dead seven fucking years. Or well, six years. Mind you, think of it, if I died six years ago, I wouldn't have spent £6,000 on this van this fucking year, would I? Or this year and last year. Putting it back up together. But, mind you, I do use the van a lot, so... It is a bit of a... Bit of a thing. I was told by old Chris, the chap that used to be the manager of... Um, or the workshop manager of Wiltshire Caravans, that... Um, Caravans and the motorhomes are designed to la only last for 600 nights. They're designed to last, like they reckon average 60 days a year for 10 years. Or 60 nights a year for 10 years. So, this is done fucking well. He's not a lover of the old Truma gas heater. But, I mean, mine... Well, mine runs constantly, really, because even in the summer, it's switched on. It's all, it's down on 12 or 14, usually about 14 degrees to set to, so it never comes on. But if you get a cold night, it'll just take the chill off the air, you know. But, yeah, I'm just rambling on about fucking different things, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite nice sat here and listen and heard, heard that fucking woodpecker. It's the first one I've heard this year. And you can hear the fucking little pigeons about here. Coo, coo, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I wish I could stop at this fucking feeling moody. You know, I get about old cliff maybe fucking laugh yesterday. He went just just to remind you, just, I just rang up Chuck, see if you're all right. He said, you haven't put nothing on the internet. He said, I know you're feeling a bit down. He said, and got the black dog. He said, well, uh, I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, just know, you know, what you call it? Um, my daughter-in-law is in the hospital with a baby at the moment. So good luck, Gabby. Um, and my... Um, Videos are starting to get cut short. I managed to get myself a little bit of time on here. So, uh, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Love you all. Bye bye. And you, skins.